Hi guys, had an, another John Barrowman, um, and obviously the, the profile was taken down after I reported it. Hello my dear fan, I really appreciate the love and support you've been showing me. I've been noticing your likes and comments always, and I believe God has a reason for all purpose, so I'd like to kn know you better during my leisure time. Love heart, love heart, love heart. Thank you. I said hi there, John. Pleasure. You're welcome. Thank you so much for writing back. How are you doing today and how long have you been a fan? I said, I'm fine. I'm a huge fan of uh, Torchwood. But of course, I first saw you in Doctor Who, LOL. Oh, that's so sweet of you. Where are you from, he asks. I said, Australia. Oh, what do you do for a living there? I said, I'm an English professor, literature and business English. Oh, that's so good. And how long have you been doing that? Are you married and blessed with kids? I said, since I graduated, obviously, LOL, which he then love hearts. And as to being kids and, and married, I said, no, neither. How long have you been single? He said. I said, I don't see how that's your business, but I guess about two years. What's your real name and how old are you? He asks. I'm so sorry about asking my apologies. My name's Julia and I'm 44. Why the rapid fire questions? You're coming across as really aggressive. Thanks for being my great fan so far and may God continue to bless you and protect you, he says. I said, I'm not comfortable. And in response to his, may God bless me, I said, you're welcome. Well, I'm asking all of these questions because you seem so intelligent and smart and I wouldn't mind to get to know about you. I said, yes, but, <clears throat> sorry, but yes, please do it like a gentleman, not like you're taking a survey. I'm sorry for going too far. So, can I get to know about you? If you don't mind sharing about you, it will be my pleasure if you do. <laughs> I said, that's fine, but look back at the chat. You fired rapid fire questions like it was an exam. It's not, it's not how people converse and I, wouldn't, uh, I would have expected you to know better. Ha ha ha, I'm sorry I moved too fast, Julia, he said. I said it was aggressive. I understand so much. I shouldn't have uh, fired too fast. I'm so sorry. My apologies. I said, sure. Tell me more about yourself, Julia. It will be my honour to know about you. I said, well, you've already found out what I do, where I live and whether I'm married or not. See, nothing left now. Oh, I wouldn't mind to know more if you're willing to share with me. I said, what would you like to know then? Anything you will love to share with me. I said, LOL, that's too broad. How about you tell me what it was like working with David Tennant? And Doctor Who, tell me a fun story from the set. Ha 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 ha, said our nervous scammer. I said, I wasn't joking. Tell me something fun. It was lovely time working with David. He's such a funny guy and when on set he's so determined and wouldn't take no jokes while on. But behind the scene he's such a funny person and from my character I'm so pleased to have that character. And reason why while I left Doctor was because I was accused of repeatedly exposing myself to the co-workers during production. I don't really know why they felt uncomfortable though. I wonder why. But while on set, it was such an amazing time with David Tennant and it was so beautiful time together, we still keep contact and it's awesome. I said, I don't think you did it <laughs> regarding his exposure. I, I don't know whether he did or not, so please don't attack me. And around David Tennant, I said, he's amazing and he love hearts that. I said, I think you were joking around. Why else give you your own show afterwards? I hope your mum is better now. Oh, yeah, I was a playful person who likes to joke around a lot more. She's still getting fine, but I hope her well recovery cause I'm doing my best and I pray God helps us. It's a difficult time now. Wow, okay. I said, well, then it's their problem, isn't it? And they gave you your own show, so it probably wasn't true, LOL. Trying to steer him to Torchwood, but he just wouldn't budge. And around his mother, I said, that's good. Glad to hear it. He goes, that their problem. Thank you so much for your concern, Julia. I said, no worries. I'm just glad about your concern. So what are you up to? I said, I'm on a train on my way to a country town. 
It's 5.30am and I've been asked to hold a lecture at the university about two hours out of the city. I love the train. Not the city ones, but real distance trains. What about you? What's the time there? What are you and Scott up to? Oh, okay, he said. So won't that be too stressful? He asked. We are good friends and planning on something big, he said around him and Scott. I said, why would it be stressful? Sometimes what you love doing might be stressful, our fake actor informs me. I said, you mean you have good friends coming over? That's nice. I said, Drew, but I'm not stressed right now. I love the train. Oh, that's so lovely. Can I see a selfie picture of you right now? He demands. I said, I don't send pictures online. Our IT department has seminars about internet security. Unless I know the person or have spoken with them, I don't ever send. Oh, okay, he says. I understand. And went away because Instagram took his account. <laughs> Bye.